the show show okay all right well <laughs> um this is about big bang theory about a f- group of friends nerds come together they have great adventures <laughs> uh uh for this scene uh we have sheldon who is the king of autistics right. <laughs> that's the only way you could say it really he's our uh, leader <laughs> and uh, and so he's having a conversation with penny um about his special seat um he can't sit anywhere else doesn't want to sit anywhere else um and then of course we have leonard in there who's just like go sit somewhere else it's fine it's fine try sitting down somewhere else he's not taking it he doesn't like it. doesn't mm. like it at all um i kind of want to know what what about this scene really spoke to you and yeah let's go from there well i don't like anybody taking my spot so <laughs> fuck um, you karen <laughs> <laughs> well my name's not I, karen i feel like like mine's not I, I do have sort of a spot on my couch it's not as strict as um as say his and i think there were, there's like one episode where they have to take his spot to get dry cleaned because oh, something that. happens to yep. it yeah, yeah. I'm not as I don't feel like I'm as strict when it comes to that. Though we have had the couch that we have since before we were married. Anyway, that's got a um, lot of butt juice but, on it. <laughs> like, well, it's been cleaned, so sure, but sure. It's, <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's but it's uh yeah. I have sort of I don't like sitting next to windows, and I, I hate when people kind of make me sit next to windows and. So, um, is it, I like to, I like is it to because you're own... worried about people perceiving yeah. you or is it the noise? Is it the light? What is it? All the above? Probably all the above. Uh, there's a, there's a good amount of light that comes in that window though too. And it gets like warmer right there yep. and it just feels like the world is right there and I might get sucked out into, I don't know. I just don't like being that close to it. Yeah. I don't like it. It's not, I'm not a fan. So, um, yeah, I usually try to sit like in the middle of the couch, but not the other side because the other side like kind of branches out, you know, like it just yes goes out. Yes. And like, you can't sit there without putting your, like you can't sit there. Just affirm white man, just affirm. <laughs> you can't sit there unless you put your feet up like on the other part oh, of the couch. Oh, that's what it is. Your, yeah. And like, I don't want to put my feet up on the other part of the couch. I want to put my feet up on the, like the thing in front of the couch where you're supposed to put your feet up. Because it's not, you're not supposed to put your feet on the couch. Yeah, because that'll cause a parallax distortion. Yeah. It's just not right. You'll you don't leak do potassium that. everywhere. You'll leak the potassium. Right. You'll leak your potassium. I don't like, and I don't like sitting in the chair, the brown chair, the, the rocking chair, even though that was the chair that, um, the brown chair was in my daughter's room. What do you mean, yeah, you people? This, not that. <laughs> What'd you call this? Man. You know, why is it at the tan chair? It's you a know? lazy boy. It's brown. It's oh no. Oh, oh lazy boy. Oh, you're sexist. Oh, no. oh, okay. You oh, heard wow. it here, folks. Man. You heard it here. Racist, Do better, sexist. Becca. Do better. Yeah. He's neurodivergent. Anyway, he he's not lazy. He hogs the brown couch. He hogs the brown couch. You use the brown couch. <laughs> Shut up. So, so many jokes. So many jokes. I use the brown couch back. too. My face oh. hurts from smiling so much. Oh, I don't yeah. use oh, the brown couch. I've heard that. I respect the brown oh, couch. The and I don't the brown oh, there you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am in love with these people. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can I just bottle you up and put you in my pocket? He's giggling so much. <laughs> um, what the hell were we talking about? Oh, so we were talking about we're the talking spot. about the show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Show. So you've got, yeah. was there something else that you two identified yeah. as like you really enjoyed in that clip? The feelings section. The There's a whole. Oh. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. The um. Any yeah. Anytime that you know. <laughs> Becca could not identify anymore with Sheldon being completely out of pocket with a strong display of emotion. It doesn't matter which direction it's in, whether it's excitement or anger or crying, especially with crying. It's like Craig's rough. And Sheldon even displays that elsewhere in the show, where he's like. <laughs> He gives them a warm beverage because he he literally has scripted. a written scripted protocol where he's like, "Well, you're right. upset. You need a warm beverage, obviously." And most people want hugs when they're upset, and I don't like hugs. But I have le- like I had a moment. I and I knew it was coming. Uh, it was someone I'm close to. She was. I knew she was going to be upset. I already knew she was going to be upset because I knew this thing was happening that was going to make her upset. 
like I foresaw it already. Um, she was going to be in tears and I was going to need to know what to do. So ahead of time, I said, okay, she's going to want a hug. So one hug, you're okay. Just one, not the side hug. We're going to give her a hug, hug. And then, um, cause we're a good friend, right? We we're a good friend. Um, uh, and so I did it. I, I was able to do it that way. But if it sprung up on me, it is it's not nightmare material. <laughs> Forget nightmare it. material and i've had it happen multiple times and they they just look at you like you're supposed to know what to do and it's like i don't know like i don't know what to do in this situation they're there it's, it's fine they're there it's always awkward it's so a good it's just... skin to skin will you mix you know the you know the dusty particles in your in your mm. in your in, in your touch you know you made hugging and, sound yeah. like and the worst you, thing. Well, you know, hugging is an embrace of two meat bags. <laughs> <laughs> well, in a way, we lose so many skin cells. You could say that we molt like spiders do. Yeah. Every day. We lose 30,000 skin cells per um, minute. Day. 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 Mm-hmm. So I'm a... It's like a minute. Damn. Girl, let me <laughs> shed on you. What? Shed my skin cells. I'll shed, I'll shed all over you, girl. I mean... That's I thought you said shit. No, shit. That's what I heard. You heard it That's here. Heard. You heard it here, people. Me and Spencer heard it right. Yeah. yeah. You heard it right. Pervert. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not. I mean, you have bacteria in both, so. <laughs> well, I'd rather have skin than shit. Let me tell you. <laughs> Same. Yeah. She yeah. wasn't brown before, but she is now, folks. Oh. <laughs> hey, All right. We're done with that. Um, okay. So. I'm not the biggest fan of hugs, not because it could, like grosses me out or weirds me out. I just it's not a thing that I do. Uh, and so me and Spencer have this long joke of me hugging him or me just hugging anyone. The other day, a friend tried to hug me after I helped him move into his apartment. I just went like this, and he still hugged me. And I'm like, you son of a bitch. Um, yeah. I hugged his wife though because she's like the sweetest thing. And I was like, she's oh, okay. the type of person that needs a hug. And like, well, I'm like Drew. I'm like, you don't need a hug, bro. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get all man tense. Could, a man could need a hug. What you talking that about? That big ass man didn't need no hug. <laughs> he likes hugs. Like he, did. he likes hugs. But I'm the hugger. I get all tense. Sure. I get really tense. Yep. There was that time we went to that church thing, and it was unfair because they put the greeters outside where you couldn't escape them. Like all these churches have these things called greeters, yeah. and they want to touch you. <laughs> They, they would, want to touch they you. They want to like <laughs> the way you said that. and it's just it's really uncomfortable. And apparently, but him and the ex, the friend I met on accident, like he was with us too, and like they looked back behind, they looked back at me because I knew they knew, like we were gonna have to pass through this group of people, and they knew we were, how long we were. Me and our friend were walking in front of her. We see the greeters. We clock <laughs> that. We look directly just, at Beck, and we're like, uh oh. And. <laughs> I must have, I guess, looked as uncomfortable as I as I felt because, like, the greeter, like, at least one of the greeters was like, "Don't worry, we won't touch you." I'm gonna like, say you you gave him a look. It's just like right. don't do I it. was just yeah. tense. Is that what they and, say in the Catholic churches now? Uh, uh, I mean, they don't make promises. A Protestant church. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just saying. It's, when you walk into church, don't worry. We won't judge. No. That was a horrible mm. joke. I'm actually really sorry about that for anyone that's been assaulted uh, by anyone. Shut sorry. The fuck I know. Up. I fucked it point. up. I know. Jesus. I fucked it up. And all the Catholic Christ. people are like, "That's actually pretty funny." <laughs> <laughs> my dad. Yeah, I was. I was my dad's like, no. Sin, so. Um, cutting that out. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, so those are some really good pieces, right? About the feelings and maybe not understanding them or what's going on, not wanting to reciprocate all these different like things that we have to deal with. You talked about earlier, you know, he doesn't know what's going on in the room, Sheldon. And you said something about him, like mouthing, like, (laughs) yeah, he literally mouths uh, to Leonard. What is happening? Because he honestly does not understand. He, he didn't see. And again, it was, uh, it's, it's jarring. You know, it gives you whiplash for Penny to have this outburst anyway, uh, because she's freshly in the middle of processing a breakup. Yeah. And she's just met these two guys. So it's, it is a socially awkward thing to it do, is. but it's even worse for somebody like Sheldon to experience because he has, he'd have trouble with it if it was socially in pocket, yep. if it was in place. So when it happens at that spot, he's like, I have no idea. You have got to help me. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why he asked. That's why he literally mouse him. What is happening? 
was so it was strong. it was great. That makes I, sense. I cannot not laugh at that. Um, has that ever happened with like you two? Uh, with not a long explanation because I want to keep it moving. But like, does that happen with like either one of you? Because Adam, it could happen to you too. But like Becca, does it ever happen to you when you're like Adam? What the fuck is going on right now? Oh are, yeah, are we at a That's rally? Right. Yeah, uh, yeah, and I would. If if I if I thought that I I would get the hell out of there very quickly. Oh whatever. Um, but, <laughs> Those are good people uh, too. <laughs> uh, I don't Both know. Sides. Keep it moving. But um, what she said? You said a bad word. Um, oops. <laughs> oh, Sorry. <shit. laughs> uh, she said There's... a bad word before. So. Oh lord. There's a red hat. No, oh, man. that's some but... of our merch. It says "Be a Man, Cry." It's actually really good. Oh my gosh. Be a man, talk, motherfucker. Oh. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Check out the full episode on our channel and anywhere you find podcasts. Also, remember to like and subscribe. Whoop, whoop.